Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, SnowRunner. Uh, I believe in our last video we went and explored just a little bit of Drummond Island, made our way to a uh, watchtower, unlocked an upgrade, we don't know what yet, we didn't go look at it. Well, as promised, we're going to bounce a little bit back and forth, so today we're back in Smithville. And as you can see, I've already activated the task or, or started tracking, it's been active, it's one of them that we activated while exploring. Anyway, we're going to do Lost Trailer today. We are going to deliver to the preacher's house a scout fuel carrier. Uh, which means we're going to need to drive a scout vehicle. And we have two scout vehicles still in Smithville Dam. The actual scout, the international scout. And the uh, stupid uh, Con 39, but it can't tow a trailer. So we're doing it with the international. So the first thing we got to do is we got to find that fuel trailer that we're after. That's got to be it right there. Yeah, lost trailer. Okay. Well, that's not too far. It's only got to go right here up the hill. See? Boy, that's a heck of a hill, though. Like, he didn't, he didn't get lost very far. He just went down the side of a mountain is all. It's probably tore all the shit. All right. Um... So we're there. I mean, we, it looks like we just take the road straight out of the garage, right? Go down here to the mountainside and just take the waterfront over to the trailer, I think. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we got our full tank of fuel. All right. So let's go do this thing. Oh, and this truck does not have a SnowRunner gearbox, so... Yeah, probably gets a little better fuel mileage than the Chevy right now. I like the way the SnowRunner gearbox performs. I just don't like running out of fuel over five minutes. Alright, decent little mud hole right there. And we gotta bear in mind that we're in this little top heavy bastard, so we uh, gotta make sure we move cautiously. Honestly, as easy as it is to flip, if anything needs the SnowRunner gearbox so that it can move slower, it's probably this truck right here. Because this is by far the most tipsy thing in our garage, and like right here, I'm already in a spot that's making me nervous, and I've just barely left the dang garage. So bear in mind, we flip this thing over, the Chevy is a long ways away, it can't come help. It's all the way on a different map, it cannot come help right now. Wow, see what I mean? Like, nerve-wracking stuff here. You move very fast at all it just like this thing starts bouncing all right and don't forget we got that international trans star that we need to go get but we're just gonna start with something a little closer to the house right now because that thing is a heck of a drive all the way to the south end of this map so because of that we're gonna start with jobs a little bit closer to home. There we go. I think we're getting, uh, yeah. No! No! Pickle now. There we go. Woo! Guys, that was freaking close. Yeah, I gotta be more careful, guys, because if it would have tipped even a tiny bit more, we would have been SOL. Well. You know what I need on this? It's the autonomous winch. I, and the next time we're at the garage, like. I don't care. The next time, even though it's shorter, it's not as long, 
The next time we're at the garage, I've got to get this truck the autonomous winch. It flips too often not to have it. Because every time this truck flips, you got to send a second truck to rescue it. And like right now, sending a second truck is not as easy as it would be if, if my truck was available. The damn Chevy ain't available right now. I mean, yes, the con thir 39 is, I guess, so it's not that big a deal. But, the way this thing likes to flip over a lot, I, I feel like that autonomous winch was made for this truck. Would have helped on the Chevy the other day too, though, think, if you think about it. Whenever we flipped the Chevy. If you guys didn't watch that video, you need to. Uh, it's the last video, Exploring Smithville Part 3. If you didn't see that video, you need to. Because at the end of that video, my Chevy pickup, while trying to rescue the fuel trailer, does a damn somersault over the fuel trailer and ends up on the other side, on its side. Uh, and then the following video, we had to do the Chevy rescue. The fucking Fleet Star had to rescue everything after that on the following video. <laughs> if y'all ain't seen those two videos, you should. Well, not the rescue videos. My, the rescue videos more typical me because, you know, I'm doing a recovery. Ooh, that's getting... This looks steep right here. Uh, it was a flawless recovery, by the way. The rescue video, it was a flawless recovery. No problems at all. But the end of the Exploring Smithville video, <laughs> holy crap did things get bad. But that's, I think that's the only time i flipped the Chevy so far. Every other time i flipped anything has been this stupid truck right here and the Chevy's had to go rescue it so many times. kick it in all wheel drive but we're about to be going across this way now oh boy that's a little bit sideways too I didn't like that let's get over here where the ground's a little flatter and try to make our way around the waterfront to the uh, trailer I know it's slow moving guys but I think I'm just gonna keep this thing in low gear there's the trailer there. I can already see it. This will be easy. I'm going to keep this thing in low gear even though it's a little slow moving. For A, I don't want to flip over because we're still on a pretty good lean. And B, I don't want to get stuck because I would expect the dirt in front of the water, like the waterfront area, I would expect this to be extremely easy to get stuck in. So I'm just going to keep this thing in low gear. Four-wheel drive, obviously diff lock is permanent on this truck. And then we're going to hope we don't get stuck hooking up to the trailer. If I know this developers, that's where they're going to get me. It's over here trying to hook up to the damn trailer. I'm just going to sink. I feel like I'm sinking already. I don't want to get too far away from these trees. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm going to be sneaky. I'm bringing the trailer to me. I'm not, I'm not going all the way to the edge of that water to where I can't reach that tree if I need to. I'm be over here where I can reach that damn tree if I need to for the winch. All right, attached trailer. So far, this mission is proving to be easy. Except for the part where I can't hardly move. 
But if you don't count that. Alright, let's see where we gotta go. Uh, the preacher's house was right up the mountain, so we need to go where we came from. And then instead of going up to the garage, we just need to follow this trail over. Alright. Move slowly. I don't want to bounce this stupid thing on its roof. Especially now that we got the trailer. I really don't want to lay it on the lid while we're hooked up to the trailer. I need to try to remember when the daylight breaks to look and see if there's a snorkel on this truck because I don't like we're driving we're driving around in an awful wet map to not have one so I may have to go add a snorkel to this truck at some point before we get too uh, carried away with these jobs no nope. there's definitely not one or that wouldn't have popped up just now the dangerous water indicator there's no way that would have popped up just now if I had a snorkel. So that is a thing that I need to remember to add to this truck, guys. A snorkel. We can't be running around these uh, wet-ass maps without it. Damn trees keep getting in my way. I can't see what I'm doing. I may have to engine upgrade this truck because it has a hard time. Wow, it ain't turning either. It has a hard time pulling hills with the engine that's in it. It has a really hard time with hills. Boy, this thing bounces so much, it's hard to keep control of it to not flip it. Like, if you're moving fast enough to actually climb the damn hill, it just wants to bounce. But if you're moving slow enough to not bounce, it don't want to climb the damn hill. This thing needs a SnowRunner gearbox. That's what it is. I think with the SnowRunner gearbox, this truck might be a little more useful. But I'm really concerned because I know the fuel consumption that the Chevrolet grew... No. Shoot. And there it is, guys. There's what I was afraid of. Because this stupid little tipsy piece of junk. Well. Alright. Con Marshall it is. this truck very much either because it doesn't have any accessories it doesn't hold very much fuel but it is fast and you can't stop it like splash and it's just like the root don't even have to activate the diff lock for this thing to just blast through stuff so I will give it that Gotta go do a recovery. But this truck also has very little power, by the way. It's a lot less tipsy, though. Uh, you can bounce this truck around without worrying about it. It does not tip like the Scout does. Just talking about the autonomous winch, too. 
how that scout needs it. Like really guys, I wish this truck could pull a trailer, because if it could, I just would have used this one to go get this. That scout, out of my three scout vehicles, the scout is my least favorite scout. <laughs> if you can translate that into a viable sentence for me, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Shouldn't be too far down here because we were already coming up that stupid steep ass hill. I think it's right here, in fact. Maybe not. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now we're going to. It's going to be tough because we are on one hell of a hill trying to do this. Like the parking brake won't even hold it. I don't know, because the parking brake won't even hold this truck, so. <laughs> that was almost bad, guys. I'm not sure what I'm trying to do here, guys. I'm just kind of playing it by ear at this point. Like, pretty sure that wasn't what I had in mind. Get up here and see what happened to the freaking scout when it flipped. See if it did any good whatsoever. Because if not, probably have to come back with a bigger truck. Alright. Uh, hopefully I'll figure out where the heck I am. Alright, screw it. Let's check out the scout and see where it's at. Hey! It worked! It's back on its wheels! Holy crap! Is it pointing the right direction? Um, a little bit. Alright. Are you serious? Like, why does it flip over that way? That makes no dang sense. That does not make sense why it's flipping so easy right there. What the hell? 
All that work for nothing. Are you kidding me? I can't tell if I'm pointing the right way or not. I hate when it's dark out. Let me come over here where I can recognize some shit. Alright. Now, we're on the trail. Are you freaking kidding me? These stupid trucks. Oh my god, these stupid trucks, guys. Okay. Y'all made me do it. You two stupid trucks just made me do this. Just know it's all y'all's fault. When y'all get drug up the hill on your side, just know that you did it to yourselves. supposed to be a quick and easy job guys and it's turned into stupidity really so far we're at what like double fail let's see if we can turn it into a triple fail fleet start never fails who am i kidding fleet start never fails me this is a narrow little spot though Heck of a hill to get rolled over on, too, guys. I, I mean, it's so steep that the parking brakes won't even hold the trucks. Like, that's 80% of the problem is that the parking brakes won't hold the trucks still. I ought to just shove that piece of junk out of the way with this. Just shove it with the bumper. But I'm not gonna. Which one did I damage? <laughs> I damaged the. I damaged the con. That's funny. I barely nicked it with the corner of the bumper too. That's sad. All right, we're gonna back this thing down the trail. Cause I got a feeling that we're about to get into some weird stuff here. But I just hope this thing is strong enough to do what it needs to do. I don't... I hate that the parking brakes won't hold the trucks still. Because it should. I don't care how bad the hill is. The parking brake should hold the car still.
Dang it, it won't stay on its freaking feet long enough for me to swap winch points. Stay on your damn feet. up the hill on your damn side. because the damn trucks like they should set their own parking brake like you should choose to set the parking brake on the vehicle you're trying to winch damn hill. I don't care. The Fleet Star will drag your ass up the hill one way or the other. Yeah, come on up. You wanted to play hard. You wanted to play hard to get, so come on up. You got fished. Come on up, fish. See you roll back down the damn hill now. That was not a smooth recovery, but it's up the damn hill. As for you, oh really? You're gonna play that way, huh? Come on. That's what I thought, sucker. You ain't gonna play that. I'm not gonna flip over game. All right. Now, back to the scout. Finish your job. Alright guys, so that was a cluster. I don't care. I don't care how else you label it. That was a cluster. That was the most retarded crap I've done in a long time. But of course, a good old Fleet Star saved everybody's ass. 
including this bouncy pile of crap. Boy, guys, while the Chevrolet is in uh, the next map, I feel like we're going to have a lot of uh, problems over here when we got to send our scout vehicles to do things. I feel like it's going to be very problematic while our Chevrolet is away on vacation. Come on, don't sink. What, do I gotta go get the fleet store to drag you through here too? Does anybody else have this much trouble with this scout? I mean, is it just me or is this international scout like a horrible vehicle? established we don't have a snorkel. Wonder if I can stay out of the water. Hell, wonder if I can stay out of the water and not flip. Oh yeah, okay, easy. At least something went easy for this stupid truck. drive again just to get up this stupid itty bitty little hill. We should be getting close guys. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say. This has not been my finest moment. This, this is definitely a job that was supposed to be super easy. Um, that, th this is not one of my more proud moments, I will, I will assure you. Uh, yeah. And don't forget, we do need to run back over to Black River now that we've opened up the roadways on this map. We need to run back over to Black River because there's still uh, that drill site job. I think it's called Not a Drill. Uh, there's still a drill site job in Black River that we need to take care of. So don't forget that we got to do that. Or I guess I, I need to not forget that we need to do that. All right, here we go. Let's kick this thing in automatic so we can get some speed. Whew. All right, Scout. You proved yourself to be a piece of shit. But here we go. Uh, I, think, uh, I think the square over here, because I think the one with the little truck in it is the one we went to to activate it. So I think it's right here. Yep, there it is. Yay! I've heard you brought the trailer back. Good job. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. You don't even want to know. If you had any idea what I went through to get your trailer back, dude, it would have been more than $1,900, that's for sure. Woo! 
All right, guys, we're going to stop in here. And we're going to, oops, truck. We're going to fill this guy back up. And this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. We're going to, I mean, technically that was a successful mission, but my God, I'm, I'm calling that a fail. Why in the world did I just get signed out? My internet must have just dropped because I just got signed out for absolutely no reason. Yep, there it went. Boop, see? Um, internet problems. Gotta love them, right, guys? Well, given the internet failure there, this is as good a place as any to extremely stop, even though I was already stopping. Don't forget to like, don't forget to su subscribe, and good God, if I don't get some better internet. I uh, hope I can get this uploaded because my internet just dropped, which is right there. That's why it signs me out because my internet drops. So like, subscribe, share, and tune in next time. I think next time what we're going to do is going to be more exploration of Drummond Island. I don't know that yet, but I think that's what is on the agenda for our next video. So, yeah, until next time.